take care of a patient with a pulmonary embolus. This is not so easy. I've got a bunch of things to tell you that I actually don't know the right thing to do on. Let's start with one. Your patient comes to the emergency room. They have a little bit of chest pain. Their blood pressure is fine, their heart rate's normal, their oxygen saturation is normal. They have a tiny little subsegmental pulmonary embolus. Can I really, in the United States, in this era, send that patient home on a novel oral anticoagulant? Time will tell. Number two, a patient comes in with a submassive pulmonary embolus. They feel lousy. They need a little oxygen. Their biomarkers are high. Their echocardiogram shows right ventricular strain. Does that mean that patient has to get thrombolytic therapy or do they have to have an invasive procedure? Or am I really okay using a parenteral agent like low molecular heparin? Can I really do that and see how things go? Number three, what about a massive pulmonary embolus? This is somebody who's had hypotension that's been sustained. They are really sick. You know what you have to do something invasive because these people, certainly if they've had sustained hypotension, are at high risk for dying. Do these people do better with catheter-directed thrombolytic therapy with percutaneous mechanical thrombectomy? Or, if I have a surgeon who's really good at this, should I send them for a pulmonary thromboembolectomy? And then finally, one of the hardest ones of all for me, who's gonna end up with chronic thromboembolic pulmonary hypertension? I know and you know it's a disaster to end up with. But the truth of the matter is I can't predict which one of those patients are going to have it. All the submassives and massive, they definitely don't get it. So how do we decide? Only time will tell and data will show. This is Viva 365.